Moderated tests are among the sharpest tools at the disposal of any UX researcher. They can provide a ton of important information and insights. However, one of the biggest problems is the fact that most UX researchers don't go through any formal training on how to conduct a moderated test. They simply learn by doing it. We at UX Tweak decided to provide you with a couple of useful tips to help you avoid some potential hiccups. Hi, my name is Alex and welcome to UX Tweak's channel. Today I'm going to share with you five tips that will ensure your next moderated testing, whether it's remote or in person, is going to run perfectly smooth. Without further ado, let's start with the first tip. Moderated testing is not the most effortless method for a researcher, since moderating means that you guide each participant through the testing process. To ease the strain on you as a moderator, make sure to prepare every detail. Check all your recording equipment and ensure that you are familiar with its controls. If the test takes place in a lab, make sure to provide accurate and detailed information on when and where the participants should arrive. If they need to bring something specific to the test, remind them about it. If you are conducting an online test, remind your participants that they will need a quiet space with a stable internet connection. Also, make sure that they have all the necessary software downloaded and they know how to join your study. Your role as the moderator is on top of everything else to make sure that the participants feel good and are not under any pressure. Starting the test with a minute or two of small talk can help dispel any tension participants may feel. Make sure to be friendly and approachable. You are their host and guide after all. Try to keep the smile up, but don't force it. If you don't seem genuine, it might sabotage the whole test because it will undermine the trust of the participant and with that, their ability to act naturally. This is probably the hardest part of being a good moderator. In front of the participant, you have to try to remain unbiased. This is true both for your behavior and verbal communication with the participant. A typical mistake researchers make is asking a question with the word connected to a specific emotion, such as, what do you like about this feature? Or what do you dislike about the app? By including the word like, you can lead the participants to more positive feedback than they would normally give and vice versa. Ask the questions in a more neutral tone. For example, please explain in a few sentences how you felt using that feature. Would you change anything and why? True neutrality can turn a good moderator into a great one. It can be easy to fall into the trap of avoiding silence at all costs. You might feel like the participant must be talking as much as possible so you can gather maximum information. However, it's important to distinguish between the types of silence. If a participant is working on the task and not talking, it's okay to remind them that they are supposed to think aloud. But if you see that they are focused on a specific step or that they are trying to figure out how to do something in your UI, let them think in silence. If you give them a few moments, the insights will come afterward and will be even more valuable. Naturally, during moderated testing, you as the moderator will be asking the participants a lot of questions. Your best friend should be the word, why? Don't be shy and ask participants to explain their reasoning and actions. Repeat the word, why, two, three, four, or even five times until you get the level of detail you're looking for. However, don't forget, you won't be the only one asking questions. The participants will inevitably ask about steps and controls which are unclear to them, and that's a good thing. Participants' questions provide valuable insights into the major pain points of your current design. Nevertheless, you will need to carefully consider whether you answer them or not. You don't want to lead the participant and explain how things work. You want them to progress naturally. It's a good idea to let participants know ahead of time that they are encouraged to ask questions. However, you might not answer all of them. I hope that these few quick tips will help you in your next moderated testing sessions. Moderated testing is a deep topic, so to learn more, check out our in-depth article.
The link is in the description. Keep on practicing and you'll ace it. I believe in you. Like and subscribe for more UX tips and tricks. See you in the next video.